welcome back to my channel. I have been looking forward to filming this all week. Today we are spending the day together and having a very special type of day. I feel like especially over the holidays and even January, life can just overall get very hectic. And I feel like over the past few weeks, I've really delayed taking actual time to do a little bit of self-care. But yeah, today we're gonna be spending the day doing that and just the self-care rituals that I personally love and have also changed my life over time. I'm definitely a firm believer that when you are taking care of yourself, number one, it's definitely a form of self-love. And on the other hand, especially if you're feeling a little bit not fully aligned or yourself, you can just gain so much of that energy back, which I think is definitely something we can forget sometimes. So yeah, I just started off this morning with doing a couple of things in my morning routine, which was so nice. And I actually did the ice bucket for the very first time. I've been wanting to try doing that for so long, but I feel like whenever I think to do it, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of avoid it. But I can actually say after doing it this morning, it definitely did wake me up. And there's also so many benefits to it. But yeah, it was like a very intense version of when I normally do ice rolling. So that is what it feels like if anyone's wondering, but definitely give it a shot. The weather most recently in Vancouver has not been the greatest. It's definitely been raining most days, but today is actually not raining. So instead of doing like an at-home workout, I feel like I'm just gonna take it easy today and go on a little hot girl walk. There's been a few podcasts popping up that I've really been wanting to listen to. So whenever I'm choosing a podcast in the morning, I love to choose something that is gonna start my day off on the right note. And it's just gonna feed my brain all the right things. So let's pick a podcast, get bundled up and then go on a walk for the day. So it's been a little bit since we last spoke. I just had my full morning routine. I basically just really enjoyed my entire morning and also took my time with it, which I feel like is why I'm feeling so relaxed right now. First of all, I just wanna say, I cannot believe it is 2024 and a huge goal of mine is to get really consistent with my health and wellness routine. I've really been wanting to try out the sauna place that is near my house. If you didn't know, saunas are actually amazing for you. So it's been a long time coming that I've actually really been wanting to go. I think especially in the winter, you guys can tell it is so cold outside, but it is just that time of year where it is so normal to feel more tired than usual almost not like yourself you know the whole drill especially if you live somewhere that gets much colder and darker in the winters which it's very much like that in canada so that is the reason why i really want to focus on my wellness and self-care journey and just figuring out the routine that works for me and makes me feel like my best self so that is just your food for thought but i think something else you can think about is whether it be in a journal or just in your notes figure out what are the habits that you're doing just on occasion that after you do them leave you feeling amazing for example that might be putting on a face mask making yourself a specific dinner going to the sauna or there might be a certain workout class that you went to in the past that you absolutely love. But that is something that I've really been thinking about recently and how I can implement those things that I do on occasion into my actual week. Knowing those things fuel me and make me feel very happy. If I'm doing them on occasion and they're making me feel great, how would I be feeling if I actually implemented them into my week? So yeah, this is your sign to take a minute and write those things out for yourself. So yeah, I'm going to head to the sauna and I'm so excited just to have a really good sweat and feel detoxified. I don't know if that's the right word. <laughs> I just finished up my session and I'm so cold right now. I know I talked about incorporating a sauna, which a regular sauna would just be a steam sauna, but there was actually so many different rooms in the place that I went. There was an infrared room, which is red light therapy, which is one of my favorite things. And there was also a salt room. There was a charcoal room, an ice room, a regular sauna, a dry sauna. There was so many different rooms to choose from and I tried to do each one for 10 or 15 minutes. It was so cool because you could read all the benefits of each room just before you walked in. And yeah, my skin actually feels amazing. That is like the first thing I noticed. And I think the best part is just the feeling that you have after i definitely accomplished my purpose of going there but yeah i'm gonna go home because i feel like since i was in the sauna my hair's wet now i wrote out a little agenda for the day so we still have a lot of fun things in store but yeah let's go back home
I am in my all-time favorite way of being. I have my face mask on, my robe on, and of course my sleepy tea that I just made. Usually when I put on my face mask, I feel like it's the perfect moment to actually sit down and journal, especially while my face mask is drying. One of my favorite sayings that I feel like really ties into this video, and it's something that I now live by, is that you cannot pour from an empty cup. And basically what that means is that in order for us to take care of other things, other people, different obligations, we need to take care of ourselves first and find ways that we can be pouring into our own cup. Obviously today I'm doing a full day dedicated to self-care, but just in general, I have really tried my best to adopt different self-care habits into my day-to-day. -day. I don't always manage to get to them, but I feel like even in life, I've learned the hard way in many different times that when I'm not actively taking care of myself, that is when I don't feel like myself or connected with myself. It can also lead to me feeling overwhelmed. So instead of getting to those places, what I like to do now is once again, adopt habits wherever I can, whether it be 10 minutes in the morning to journal, a workout at the end of the day where I'm spending time with myself and taking care of myself. There's so many different ways to go about it, but, but I truly believe that the reason behind this is not just the act of self-care, but it's more about how taking care of yourself and your well-being can actually make you feel and you just show up as a better version of yourself in the other places of your life. Yeah, like I mentioned, I am literally thriving right now. Like I have my tea. This is actually one that I got from Trader Joe's and it's amazing. I really wish we had a Trader Joe's in Canada, but luckily the nearest Trader Joe's across the border in the US, if you didn't know, you can drive into Washington State from Vancouver. It takes about 30 minutes and the first Trader Joe's is about 45 minutes from where I live. So I really need to go back and dedicate a day to Trader Joe's and Target because this well-rested tea just hits different. I have two different journals. I have one, which if you guys watch my video, I believe two videos ago, that was all about making 2024 your year. I share that I have two journals. One is dedicated to my year. So this is my 2024 journal that I actually picked up in that video. And then my other journal that I have is just kind of random. It's a journal that I pick up when I want to write down a quick note, an idea I have or whatever it may be. So I like to keep it very organized and knowing that when I pick up this journal, it is game time as I'm dedicating this journal to my year and all the pages in here have a lot of meaning behind them. So I want to do a little evening journal session. I personally love gratitude journaling and that is journaling about the things that you're grateful for, whether that be in the present moment, which honestly has such a positive impact more than you would think and it can really shift the way that you think. Or I also sometimes gratitude journal about the future and kind of writing about things that I'm grateful for that may have not happened yet. So that is the two ways that I do it, but it is definitely one of my favorite activities. So I'm going to find a journal prompt that inspires me for this evening and then I'll write it out so you can also use it. But yeah, I'm so excited. I just feel so zen. <laughs> I look zen. I feel like this whole video is very zen. Also, I have this one pen that I think I've had for like three years and I tried to guard this pen with my life. I don't know how much longer it's going to be here with me because all of the ink is running out and I pray to never lose it because it is the best pen that I've ever had. And I'm also left-handed, which means that journaling can be really hard if it's with a bad pen because my hand is always running across the journal. Yeah, let me know if you guys have a special pen that you also do anything in your power not to lose. I need to go to Staples or a bookstore and find this one again because it is the only pen that doesn't smear. officially ready for bed. I think that this is the ultimate feeling of relaxation. I fill my water every night before I get into bed. In the morning when I wake up, it can be the first thing that I reach for. I recently got the Stanley Cup during the holidays and I think that's the reason I really like it. But I like how when I wake up, the ice is still not melted and it's so refreshing. I actually don't know how it works, but, but that is why I really like it. I'm really glad that I'm posting this video at the beginning of 2024. Today actually marks January 10th, which is so insane. We're already like a week and a bit into 2024 and I've just been having so much fun filming these types of videos. One of my goals going into 2024 is to finish 10 books this year and that is coming from someone who starts so many books like even in these past few years I don't even want to count how many books that I've started read them halfway and then never open them back up so that is why my goal is 10 so then I actually encourage myself to read the book from start to finish and my favorite time to actually sit down and read is right before bed there are so many reasons why I love reading before bed it is so easy to scroll and scroll and scroll and that is the last thing that we're doing and thinking about which definitely affects our night's sleep but yeah I think just ending off the day on a really great note and making 
making it a habit to even read 10 pages is such a nice way to fall asleep. So that is what I've been trying to do. I think most nights of 2024, I have read as the last thing I do before I fall asleep. And I definitely feel an improvement even in my mood when I wake up the next morning. I'm currently reading this book. It is called The Mountain Is You. It is a really amazing sort of self-reflection book. It was on my read list for so long because I always heard such great things about it. And even if you guys look at the pages that I've read, almost every single one has something highlighted in it. I've read a lot of these sorts of books in the category of like self-improvement. And this one is definitely up there as one of my favorites. But yeah, I'm actually traveling in less than two weeks and I know I'm gonna finish this book by then. I've been trying to find a really good book that I wanna bring with me on my trip, but it's so hard to pick because there's so many. But yeah, if you have any suggestions of a really good book or one of your favorites, please comment down below and let me know because I will <laughs> because I will take your suggestions about what next book to go for. Another thing I totally forgot to actually show was my body care after the shower. This is the combination that I swear by if you want really soft skin. For body moisturizer, I always use this Vaseline Almond Smooth, which I think I just picked up at Walmart or Amazon. When I put a few pumps of it on my hand, I also add in this Johnson's baby oil, like just a little bit of it, and I mix it with the moisturizer and then I apply it on my body. And just trust me on this, it is my favorite way to moisturize my body. I mean, at this point, I really want to read my book and just relax. And I've also done so many different self-care things today that it has put me deep into relaxation. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you're all having the best start to your 2024. And I hope that this video served as any sort of inspiration of ways that you can take care of yourself, some wellness habits that I love, and I guess just overall habits that you can take with you into your new year and just figure out ways that you can integrate them on a daily or a weekly basis. You can follow me on my other socials if you want to keep up daily. And yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you back with my next video.